Hi, today we're going to go over how to publish a course for an LMS using iSpring Suite. When you've finished the hard work of creating your course in PowerPoint and are ready to publish, go to the iSpring Suite tab. Then go ahead and select the Publish button. Don't worry, this part is easy. Next, head on down to the LMS tab. I'm going to name my project here and make sure it's going to be saved in the right place. Now I just need to select my output options. Let's start by making the course accessible offline on a mobile device. I love this option. Next, I should make sure that we have the right video player selected. Here's where you can customize your player, and if you head to the Select Player section, you can choose between three player options. I'm going to stick with the Universal Player. Now let's look at our sizing options. Here we have three options to choose from. Fit Course to Browser Window, Original Slide Size, or Scale Slide to Exact Size. I'm going to stick with that final option. Under our quality options, I can choose from presets or customize my options. I prefer to stick with the presets. With protection, I have the option to protect my course against unauthorized use by adding watermarks, passwords, and domain restrictions. Now let's move down to the most important part, learning course options. iSpring Suite can publish for a wide variety of e-learning standards like SCORM 1.2 and 2004, AICC, Experience API, and CMI5, and each standard has its own set of customizations. Even though SCORM is the most commonly used standard these days, iSpring Suite completely supports other standards. If you choose Experience API, don't forget to specify your XAPI endpoint, which is a link to a learning record store. iSpring even generates CMI5 compliant courses, which is a nice balance between the interoperability of SCORM and the flexibility of XAPI. I'm going to publish to SCORM 1.2. Here I can change my course name and lesson title if I like as well as add a course description and keywords. I want to change the progress and completion settings, so I'm going to select Customize. Here I can choose how to report the completion status to the LMS. I'm going to stick with Passed, Failed. I can also turn on Rate Number of Slides Viewed to set the minimum number of slides the student must view in order to complete the course. Here I'll choose how to rate my quizzes and simulations in the course and select quizzes and simulations whose results will be included in the overall assessment of the course. In the total score setting, I can set up the max score and custom passing score. The last thing I like to look at is the timeout section, where I can set the lesson duration and timeout actions, which lets me decide what happens when a student has run out of time on my course. I'm going to leave this at terminate lesson. And that's it for progress completion settings. Now all you have to do is publish. I told you that would be easy. Once your file is finished, you'll have the options to view the course, open it, share it, email, or upload the material to an FTP server. Now your package is ready for sending to your LMS and delivering to your students. And just like that, you're done. Good work.